Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On January 21st, 1820, a white plantation owner, William Johnson, petitioned the legislature of the state of Mississippi to free a young slave, a slave who was also his son. The senior Mr. Johnson had already freed the boy's mother, Amy, and his sister, Adelia. The young boy, aged 11, was also named William Johnson, and at an early age, he was taught to read and write. After an apprenticeship with his brother-in-law, William Johnson became a very successful barber operating three barbershops, as well as a bathhouse in Natchez. Today, however, Johnson is best known for his series of diaries, chronicling his life as a free man of color in a slave society. Beginning in 1835, the diary spans 16 years. It provides a window into the world of a free man of color in the antebellum South. Tragically, Johnson was murdered in 1851. In the 1930s, however, his diary was discovered in the attic of the house. He had built on 210 State Street. The Johnson family sold the diaries to Louisiana State University, who published them for the first time in 1950s. Today, Johnson House is part of Natchez National Historical Park, and his diaries are considered one of the most important accounts of life in the mid-19th century South. My name is Barney Scobie Jr. I'm a park guy with the Natchez National Historical Park. This has been your Natchez History Minute.